Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm still your girl Shonjai and as usual, I want to thank God for Shonjai YouTube channel because without God, there wouldn't be Shonjai YouTube channel. And secondly, I want to thank my subscribers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your feedback and thanks for your encouragement. It really means a lot to me. Our topic for today is building new habits. Building good habits. Last week, we talked about breaking bad habits. And the habits to break last week were one, going to bed late, two, over snacking, three, complaining, four, ignoring your financials, five, procrastination, and six, ignoring God. And today, we'll be looking at five good habits to build. And the first one is surround yourself with positive people. This is a new year. The results you produce shows the people you surround yourself with. Don't surround yourself with people who are negative. They always speak negative things to your life. Don't share your, your ideas with people that will always discourage you, people that don't feel you are good enough to achieve that goal. Sh share your ideas with people who would lift you up, people who would encourage you, people who would even show you the way and show you what to do. Like I said earlier, the results you produce shows the people you surround yourself with. So are you ready to produce good results or negative results? And that takes us to our second reason why our second way of um, building a uh, good habit and that is make time for exercise i know you were not expecting this but some of you might be asking what does exercise got to do with um, um being proactive or much more effective in the year 2022 so exercising has a lot to do with it there is this i i have this 15 minutes of doing Excess, I have uh, 15 minutes every day just to exercise and not because I want to look um, slimmer or it's just that I want to keep fit, I want to be active. Exercise, uh, it helps you, it's a good lifestyle, it helps you to be able, to, it helps you to be active, it keeps you active. There was this uh, uh, documentary I watched between people that exercise daily and people that don't exercise daily. And the way they think was um, was um, different. People that exercise daily were more active, were more effective, were more proactive, and they produce good results more than people that don't do exercise at all. So please, to bring the best in us, to bring the best results in us, we need to exercise even if you can't do it daily you can do it weekly but just make sure you burn some fat you 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 burn up some uh strength in you so that takes us to our next uh top uh, our next the third one of uh, building good habit which is learn to single tax yes I know as a, uh, uh, maybe as an employee or someone that uh, works officially, you might not have the luxury to single times because your boss is always dropping this on your table. Get this done in the next 10 minutes. Get this done in the next five minutes. Get this done in the next two hours. Or get this done before the day ends. And he continues to pile it. And not only your boss, maybe some other departmental head can come to your department and give you an assignment to help them to, uh, uh, to, 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 to help with. Do you know that when you single tax, you achieve more than multitasking? Yes. When you multitax, you are eating, you are working, you are receiving a call. At the same time, you are, you are sending a mail. You would never be effective that way. In fact, your job will never look tidy that way. 
When you want to eat, make sure you are eating and you're concentrating on eating. When you want to send a meal, make sure you ask your mind and everything is concentrated on that meal before you to be able to send something good and something productive. So please, let's learn to single tax. Though we might not have the luxury to single tax, we want to do everything and jumble everything at once. But single taxing makes you much more productive than when you multitask. Then the fourth is appreciate, uh, show appreciation. Appreciate more. Even for little things that people do, appreciate them. Let me ask you a question. When last did you appreciate your boss? Like just walking up to your boss and telling your boss, boss, thank you, or madam, sir, thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for last year. Thank you for building me up. Without you, I wouldn't be this effective. I wouldn't have grown to be the employee I am today. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your contribution in my life. When last have you told your boss thank you? Or your parents, just walk up to your parents. Buy something. Oh, mom's, mommy, I thank you. Dad, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. Or your siblings, your friends. Just to show appreciation, just thanking them for being there for you. Please, when you, even the Bible said, um, the heart that give thanks will be made fat. There is this thing about showing appreciation and thanking others. It makes people want to do more for you because they know you appreciate what um, they do for you. So whenever you need help, they know that, no, this person appreciates, so let's help this person. Then lastly, build your relationship with God. Build your relationship with God. Like I would always say, without God, I'm nothing. Without God, I am nothing. I repeat that again. Without God, I am nothing. Without God, you are nothing. Yes. You feel you can do everything on your own. It is by your power. No, it is not by your power. You, it's not by, it's not you. It's the grace of God. God has been faithful. Yes, God loves us. So that's, if, you, if, you, if you build relationship with him or not, that doesn't stop him from loving you. He will still continue to love you. But building a relationship with God makes you know his will for your life and makes you closer to him. It doesn't just make you look like someone that, oh, if you want bread today, you go to God. God, I want bread, and he gives you bread. And you say, oh, bye-bye, I've collected the bread. Let's not meet again. Like you remember, we say, ma jiakwa demo. Don't be that kind of person with God. Don't build that kind of relationship with God. Build a daily and a strong relationship with God that helps you fulfill the will of God for your life. And I hope you enjoyed my topic for today. Have a nice weekend. Bye.